whatever. At the end of the 1950s, an art style emerged in England which used images from popular culture like magazines and TV. It would become known as pop art. This style quickly spread to America and had a big impact on the art world of the 1960s. Artist Pauline Boty grew up in London and graduated from art school in 1961. It was a very rebellious time. Young people were looking for more individual freedom of expression. They began to dress in bright, colorful, outrageous clothing. Rock and roll was their music of choice. Women were also demanding more equality in politics and the workplace. Boti was a founding member of a group of artists who would become known as the British Pop Artists. Pauline Boti's art was about popular British culture, but also addressed concerns of the emerging feminist movement. Before pop art emerged, the dominant art style was abstraction. A younger generation of artists thought that abstract art was too serious and hard for the average person to understand. They wanted to use more recognizable images in their art. Andy Warhol was interested in the common things of a consumer society, so he used them in his paintings. He also thought Americans were obsessed with money, fame, and had a morbid fascination with death. Marilyn Monroe whom Warhol painted many times, was the perfect subject for him. She was beautiful, a movie star, and died a tragic death. Troy Lichtenstein was an art teacher at Rutgers University in 1961. One day, his son was reading a Mickey Mouse comic book and challenged his dad to paint something as good as that. Lichtenstein began to use comic book images in his painting, reproducing them on large canvases. He was sometimes accused of copying the work of others, but he saw his intent as different from the work he imitated. He was more interested in the visual aspect of his painting than any emotional message they might portray. Although born in France, Marisol Escobar had Venezuelan parents. She had always been interested in art and studied at some of the world's best art schools. While living in New York City, she was friends with some of the other pop artists and even appeared in two of Andy Warhol's films. Marisol, as she's generally known, was influenced by folk art and the feminist movement developing in the 1960s. She would use many different materials in her sculptures, but they were almost always groups of people, often families. Her art questioned the traditional gender roles of women. Klaus Oldenburg was an early member of the pop artists in 1957, he began experimenting with making soft sculpture, which his wife would sew for him. He opened his own store in New York City, where he displayed and sold his paper mache versions of everyday objects. Eventually, he began to make large-scale public sculptures of common, everyday things, which brought a sense of humor and wit to many cities in the U.S. Although there were many other artists who fit the pop art category, these artists were some of the most influential artists of this period. <laughs>